due to produce millions of high-quality eucalyptus seedlings. The innovation promises to make forestry more productive, profitable and sustainable. Our reporter Dennis Otieno visited the facility and tells us how this breakthrough could shape Kenya's green future on this week's edition of Smart Farm. Near the edge of Nairobi's iconic Karura forest, a quiet revolution is taking root, one seedling at a time. Here at the Tree Biotechnology Program Trust, scientists are using biotechnology to clone and multiply improved eucalyptus hybrids, a method designed to grow faster, resist disease, and yield more wood per acre. For many years, Kenya has been reading it tree growing, but unfortunately we have been using the old technology of propagating trees from seeds and also only focusing on pure species. But uh, with advances in science, this that procedure was found to be quite slow and does not capture all the benefits. This hybrid technology blends the best traits of two eucalyptus species, Eucalyptus grandis and Eucalyptus camaldulensis. These two characteristics are brought together and what the hybrid we get is a hybrid that will grow faster but also have higher wood density which is good for fuel. And second, in the process we also look at, at uh, disease resistance. Grand, grandis is highly charged by diseases. A lot of people don't imagine that trees get sick. And unfortunately, we are getting more incidences of diseases because of ease of transport, and particularly containerized transport. Inside the nursery, seedlings are raised under controlled conditions to ensure healthy root development and uniform growth. Once the seedlings have been brought, what follows is management. Management involves grooming of the seedlings, and also uh, preparing the seedling to remain with one shoot, which can be planted or can be dispatched. That means the whole process takes four months for the seedlings to be ready. Still, misconceptions persist about eucalyptus being a water guzzler, but scientists insist it depends on the variety and how it's managed. Eucalyptus is not necessarily a water gatherer. It doesn't take more water than what other crops do. Second, eucalyptus is a very wide genus, or what we call it has many varieties. It has more than 50 known varieties. So when we condemn eucalyptus, we are condemning whole summary. What we always uh, advise growers is that the water, waterways need to be conserved. According to official data, Kenya loses an estimated 50,000 hectares of forest cover each year. But initiatives like this can help the country hit its ambitious target of planting 15 billion trees by 2032. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.